Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I have the Civivi Backlash. Now this knife I've been wanting to mod for a while, but unfortunately it's it's been in my collection and it has barely seen any pocket time. So I, I probably carried this maybe once or twice. I've never even really used the blade to cut anything. I'd like to customize it and then actually auction it off on my Instagram page. So basically, I, I'd just like to see this go to somebody who would actually use it and put it to good use. Really quick, before we get into it, I'll put the specs up on screen. And we'll get into... Well, let's just talk about how great this knife is. Honestly, the action is super smooth. You have a flipper tab here with excellent jimping on the back. So really, really smooth action. Uh, the drop shed is excellent since it is riding on bearings. Uh, you do have really nice jimping here on the ramp. And when you choke up on this knife, since you have that very generous front finger choil, it's just really, really comfortable. And, and the pocket clip is noticeable, but it's not really a hot spot. And again, your thumb lands very, very nicely on that ramp with the jimping. You have a reversible deep carry pocket clip, which is really nice. And really the only thing I've changed so far is the black hardware and the pivot. Same with the pocket clip. And I just wanted to switch that just to give it a just a darker look. I think it looks better with the black hardware. And I basically took the hardware from my Anthropos and swapped it out. So basically this is all nice and chromed out or satin finish. It just has I think it just goes better since the blade has that Damascus steel. So really cool. And this is another knife that I'll be auctioning off to since it unfortunately gets very little pocket time. Excellent knife though, no issues with it. Basically brand new, but that'll be another video. So with this one you have the G10 scales, you have a lanyard hole, uh, the G10 backspacer. Again, really nice anodized blue liners. And the changes I'm going to be doing to this knife are going to be, just to kind of go with the darker hardware, is I'm going to etch and stone wash the blade. And then I'm also going to put some texture just on the flat section of the G10 here. So you can see it's nicely contoured. It's got some beveling. It's just a nice look to it. So this flat area on the scales, I'm going to put some rock pattern texture. And then I'm going to create a carbon fiber backspacer just to kind of go with the black hardware and the darkened or etched and stonewashed blade. And I think it'll just give it a really good contrast. And I am a fan of the green and the blue, so that's going to stay. So now that we know the changes, let's take this knife apart and uh, see what we got going on on the inside. All right, so there we are, all taken apart. And another great thing about this knife is it's very simply put together. And yeah, just a great knife. So let's get into customizing it.
right, so here it is all customized. I guess we can start with the scales. And as you guys can see, they turned out pretty darn good. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I just stuck to the center section of the scale. And then after the texture, I just added a little bit of tongue oil to make it the same color as the outside. So that is the scales. Turned out really, really good. Happy with those. And then for the backspacer, I used G10 carbon fiber. I added that rock pattern texture and it'll shift and dance in the light and you still get that really cool shimmer from the from the carbon fiber weave so it wasn't really a big custom change to the knife but I just thought it needed it and we'll see what it looks like once I put it together and then last but not least we did the blade now the stone wash came out really really well gave it a fresh edge really happy with it and I did put that rock pattern texture on the spine and as you guys saw from the video I added some on the side of the swedge now originally I wasn't going to do that but I just felt that it needed it since I was putting it on the scales and the backspacer and I think it'll just go really really well with the rest of the knife let me know down below if you guys think that was a wise decision but I think it uh, complements it very well so now that we did the little walkthrough let's uh, put this thing together and see what it looks like There it is all finished and I am super happy with it. Now it was just a subtle, I guess you could call it a subtle mod since I didn't really have to create the new scales but I did touch them up a little bit, add some texture, a little bit of design. I think it turned out really good. And then the backspacer looks really good back there. And then I let it I let it protrude just a little bit higher than the scales just so that if you do a reverse carry or get a grip on it uh, in this direction you can actually get some grip with your thumb but yeah really really happy with it that blue and green I think works really well and that black I think was necessary I didn't really have to but I think it does make the knife just a little bit better and we have hopefully the action is still good and it is, I made sure to use nail polish on the bearing contact area. Drop shed is still very smooth. And it flies right out. I think the stone wash looks really, really good. And it goes very well with the knife. And then that rock pattern texture complementing the scales and the backspacer. So again, just has a nice flow to it. And as always, I appreciate you guys' input, so let me know down below what you guys think of how this thing turned out. And again, this is an auction knife, so it is going up for auction on my Instagram. I'll be posting this from September 29th, 2021 through September 30th, 2021. I'm just going to go 24 hours on the auction just to give people an opportunity to at least get a heads up. And I did put a fresh edge on this, so... Do just a quick cut test. And yep, safe to say that we are nice and sharp. Surprisingly sharp. I'm actually able to cut through that paper really fast. So yeah, extremely happy with that. Get this off of the table. So there is the modified CVV Backlash. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.